Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today we are at Kelowna Ford Lincoln at their new dealership here in uh, Kelowna, British Columbia, Canada. They're kind enough to let me do some filming today. So big thank you to them. Brand new dealership, really nice. Great people working here. Today I thought we could take a look at this 2015 Ram 2500. It's got the 67 Cummins turbo diesel in it. This truck has 118,000 kilometers on it. You can see they went around and did the rock guarding all over. Oh, this, these are really nice looking trucks. This is the Mega Cab model. And you can see they debatched it other than the Cummins badges. Some more Rock Guardian on the back here. Full box liner, fifth wheel ready. back frame this particular truck we get a factory remote start and then you get a keyless entry so locked by pushing the button to unlock opens up to a beautiful black leather interior really really nice wood grain trim all soft touch material on the door pad up here for your armrest and then lots of storage space foam cup holder really comfortable leather seats with the Laramie badging Huge center console. Leather trim dash, soft touch as well. And we have the upgraded Alpine system. We have our wood grain trim finishing off the center here. Really nice look. Four wheel drive. We have our keyless start stop. Trailer brake controller. Heated seats. Cooled seats. Heated steering wheel. Traction control. Tow haul mode. And the uh, exhaust brake. And then your rear parking uh, assist on or off. And then, of course, the passenger side control for the seats. Under here we have a 115 volt plug, ample storage, this is all soft touch as well. In the first compartment, tons of storage, got your USB. USB here as well, coin holder, and in, in the second compartment we got our CD player, deep storage pocket, 
Now on the steering wheel, we have our controls for cruise control on the right here. On the left hand side, you got your Bluetooth, your phone, and then instrument uh, panel um, controls. On the back of the wheel is how you uh, volume up, volume down, and skip songs. And you have your manual mode, shift the gears. Now we go up to a two-tone for the roof liner. The back we will definitely take a look at separately, but I just wanted to give you a look quickly. And on the left hand side here, you got your headlight switch and fog lights, auto, auto lights, off, marker lights, headlights, box lights, and then panel dimming. Over here we have our mirrors fold in, left control, right control, and then to move the glass. Driver's side and passenger side windows are both auto up and down. Back door, windows, child lock, and then your lock and unlock for the doors. These mirrors, of course, uh, fold out as well for the tow mirror. And I'll just show you with the fold in button here. All right, go ahead and start it up. So Keyless entry, foot on the brake, glow plugs, So with the controls here, we can go through. Tons of vehicle info. I really like that. How uh, it has so many so many things that you can monitor. And of course, there's still more we can go through. We go up. Digital speedometer. Set up your screen. Stored messages. So things like when your oil changes due, or if there's any diagnostic codes that come up, anything like that they'll be in the stored messages and we have our audio for the radio if you want to just see what you're listening to and your volume and such your trailer information your trip settings fuel economy and back to where we were in the vehicle info section so yeah, I'll go ahead and turn the lights on. Turn the box lights on. Turn the four ways on. And we'll go have a look at the exterior while it's running. Also pop the hood and we can have a look under the hood. Check out that 6.7 diesel. And then after that, we will take a look at the rear seats. Sounds good, sounds like a real diesel. Not all quiet like the new ones coming out. Our box lights. Let's 
truck is also equipped with air brakes. I forgot to mention that in the initial walk around. Alright, we'll go ahead and take a look at the back. Got that beautiful wood grain trim finishing off in the back here as well. Soft touch materials, ample storage. Nice, comfortable leather seats. Tons of uh, room here with the recline. middle we have our armrest and cup holders armrest to help you climb in so yeah we got heated seats back here as well which is really nice a couple vents as well pretty good for leg room I'm six foot three. I was comfortable in the front and I'm pretty comfortable in the back here. Now with the seats, I can be nice and tilted back. Really comfortable. Okay, with the seat fold down button that you just saw me grab there, you can fold your seats down. Got a nice storage box here, and this is on the driver's side. Got hooks here, and then of course we'll have more on the passenger side as well. So I'll go ahead and fold this up and then I'll show you guys the passenger side. So same on the passenger side, beautiful wood grain, soft touch materials, ample storage. So again, pull the seat fold. come down and since the driver's side seat was back a bit further that's why we I had kind of difficulties but made it work and then back here same thing have our nice storage box not as open as the other side but still room to put some stuff in there and we got our hooks as well Passenger side door, wood grain, nice soft touch materials. Got our jack under the seat there. Full power seat for the passenger side, lumbar. Beautiful Laramie badging. 
Got some interior storage on the passenger side as well. One thing I forgot to show on the driver's side is that we have our full power, of course, lumbar. And then we have memory seating as well, driver one and driver two. Go ahead and shut the hazards off. Box lights. And we'll switch back to auto. So yeah, on our display, we have our radio settings, AM, FM, satellite radio, media, so when you plug your mobile in, controls for the seats and the steering wheel, mirror dimmer, which is pretty cool to have the setting for that. We have our climate control, so you can change your air directions, your temperature, dual climate control, which is nice as well, and then your fan speeds, and then your sync option. So if you want both sides to be at the same temperature, then we'll just sync that up. Now they're both at high. Have our navigation. I guess the nav just takes a little minute to load up. We'll come back to the nav. Then we have our phone, don't have anything paired, and then our settings. So you can change your, your display settings, the voice, your clock, the lights, door locks, trailer brake, your audio settings. So if you want to play around with the bass, I'll show you in there. So we have our balance and fade. The equalizer is where you're gonna change your bass settings. Surround sound. Speed adjusted volume. So what this is, is if you're, um, let's say you have it set on three. So as your vehicle accelerates, then the volume is automatically gonna be turned up louder to accommodate for the added road noise. And aux volume offset, I've never seen that before, but it tells us here, tunes audio level for portable devices connected through the aux input. Kind of cool. So yeah, we'll just leave this how it was. And then we got our phone Bluetooth settings, the Sirius setup. And to finish it off, you can clear your personal data and then system information. So we'll go back to the navigation, see if that's loaded up yet. No, it is not. Maybe it's missing the SD card for the uh, nav system. That would be my assumption. Switch it back to radio. So yeah, again, our four wheel drive system. DEF is a little bit low, but we're not going anywhere, so we're fine. And yeah, the Alpine systems do sound really good. I would love to be able to show you guys, but uh, one thing is copyright, of course. Uh, the second thing is you're not gonna get the true experience anyways because my camera microphone is gonna be kind of distorted as well as depending on the speakers that you're using for your computer or your headphones, uh, it's, it's gonna sound much different in person. So yeah. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And again, a big thank you to Kelowna Ford Lincoln for letting me come here and do some filming. And this is probably my second walk around that I've done on uh, some newer vehicles. And if you guys have any kind of helpful tips or things that I should be filming or maybe things that I shouldn't be doing, uh, please leave those down in the comment section. I want to try to learn and grow and you guys watching my videos and everything, um, you guys will be able to give me some really helpful pointers. And again, thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing if you aren't already and leave a like. And I hope all of you have a wonderful day.